One sunny outback day, Josie was very excited. She was expecting a parcel from George, the postman. Ooh, come on, George. You know what they say, Josie. A watched pot never boils. Mm, I'm not watching for a pot. I'm watching for a postman. Ah! Uh, morning, Josie. Can I come in? Oh, sorry, George. Uh, here are your letters, Sammy. Oh, thanks, George. Ooh. And there's something for you too, Josie. For me? I left it out here because it's a bit, well, big. Big? That is big. Heavy too. <laughs> Morning, everyone. What's this? Morning, Frank. Buster, that's Josie's parcel. Are you going to open it? Oh, of course. Uh, what is it, Josie? It's a chew. Oh, wow! What's a tuba? It's a musical instrument. Oh, I've always wanted to play an instrument, and this one looked really interesting. How do you play it? I think you blow into this bit. <gasps> well? Uh, well... Gosh, uh... It sounds terrible, doesn't it? It'll sound great in time, Josie. You just need to practice, that's all. You think? Oh, yeah, right. Yes. I reckon so. Maybe I should practice away from the store. I wouldn't want anything to get broken. Yes, that's not a bad idea. So Josie found a nice spot by the cafe where she thought she could practice without bothering anyone. Oh, hi, Josie. Oh. oh, Alice, I'm so sorry. I'm learning to play this tuba. But, well, it's a bit noisy. Hi, Josie. I've been thinking, and I might have a solution to your problem. Ta-da! What are they? Earmuffs. You put them on, and you can't really hear anything. If we all wear these, you'll be able to practice and you won't disturb anybody. Oh, thanks, Frank. Thanks, Buster. We're here to help. <gasps> Frank's idea was a good one. No one can hear Josie practicing, oh. but they couldn't hear anything else either. Good morning, George. Making your deliveries. What was that? Sorry, what did you say? You'll have to speak up. Are you making your deliveries? I've got to go. I'm making the deliveries. What? This isn't working out. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> I'll look forward to it. I'm really sorry, Josie. I know. Thanks for trying. I guess I'll just have to go even further away. Josie was a bit sad. Whatever she did, she and her tuba seemed to cause problems. So Josie decided that she'd have to practice well away from the town. Ooh. 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 Hi, Josie! Wow! A tuba! I'm learning to play it, but the noise seems to bother people in town. Could I practice here? No problem. Here goes. <gasps> wow, it is loud, Josie. But I don't mind. Have another go. <gasps> Mitzi, Mitzi, did you hear that noise? Yes, Ned, that was... Wasn't it weird? Shh, shh. A sort of, uh... Blah, blah. <laughs> really strange. Ned! Shh. Oh, hi, Josie. Like the tubula. So what do you think that terrible noise could... Oh, sorry, Josie. Was that you? It's OK, Ned, you're right. All I do is make horrible noises. No-one wants to listen to that. Josie, Ned didn't mean that... I'm going. I'll come with you, Josie. No, thanks. I think I just want to be by myself for a while. That's OK. 
A little later, Frank and Buster arrive back with the groceries. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Ned. Hi. Have you seen Josie? We wanted to see how our practice was going. Uh... Is anything the matter? We don't know where Josie is. She wanted to be on her own. She was a bit sad, I reckon. Don't know why. Maybe we should take the plane up, see if we can spot her. Good idea, Frank. Frank and Buster had been searching for a little while when Buster thought he saw something down at the waterhole. There she is, Frank. There's Josie. Is everything all right, Josie? No, not really. What's the use of playing an instrument if no one wants to hear you play? I'm going to send it back. I don't want to learn to play an instrument now. I say, is it true we have a new musician in our midst? Ha! <laughs> a tuba. Splendid. You think? Josie's thinking of sending it back. Oh, but why? Because all I can make is horrible noises. You know, when I first played the banjo, it used to sound very strange. Yes, I used to take my ukulele into the outback, find a nice quiet spot and practice where no one could hear me. That way I didn't have to worry about bothering people. That's what I want to do. But a tuba isn't like a ukulele. It's really loud and really heavy. I couldn't carry it far enough. Hmm, that is a problem. Josie, why don't I take you and your tuba in the plane? I can drop you off wherever you like, then you can practice in peace, and I'll pick you up later and bring you home. Oh, would you? It'd be my pleasure. So Frank and Josie looked for a place where Josie could practice without worrying what other people were thinking. Josie picked a lovely shady spot, way out in the outback. I'll pick you up in an hour or two, Josie. Good luck, and remember... I know, practice makes perfect. <gasps> Later that afternoon, Mitzi and Ned were starting to miss Josie. When will she be back, Buster? She's been away ages playing that tubula. She'll be back as soon as she's finished practicing, I guess. Will she be practicing all the time now? If she wants to be a good player, she'll have to practice, but not all the time. Oh, good. Because I sort of miss her a bit. Um, I think I even miss that... They're <laughs> 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 back! Thanks for the lift, Frank. Anytime, Josie. Hi, Hi Josie! Josie. Oh, oh, hi. Did you miss me? Yeah. I've had a great time practising. And listen, I've learned four whole notes. Oh. oh. <gasps> Hooray! Josie, now we're all used to the tubular, couldn't you, you know, do your practising here? I'd love to, Ned. Tuba, Ned. It's a tuba. <laughs> Later that day, everyone was invited to a concert at the waterhole featuring Frank, Archie and Josie. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Josie was really happy to see how much her friends enjoyed the music. And she realised that it isn't always easy when you start something new, but if you keep on practising, you can learn to do almost anything. Josie, the little kangaroo, loved helping Sammy in his store. Peppers, milk. Biscuits, bananas. She especially liked getting the orders ready for delivery and always took special care to make sure everything was perfect. And last of all, a pineapple. All done. That's it, Josie. Only room in the trunk for one more box. I'll do this round and come back for the rest later. And for another lovely cup of tea in my favourite mug. I have the kettle on, Sammy. Ah, uh, what would I do without you, Josie? You do a terrific job. Oh, thanks, Sammy. So as Sammy set off to deliver groceries across the outback, he left Josie to get on with filling the rest of the boxes. It was then that it happened. Oh, no! Sammy's favourite mug! What a 
am I gonna do? May maybe I should hide the pieces. Good day there, Josie. Just the one for you today. Everything all right? Oh, yes, George. Oh, good o. I'll be off then. Bye. Oh. I I wonder if I could glue it back together. Cooey! Oh no. Mustn't let Mitzi see what I've done. Phew! It's a hot one today. Can I have some Billy Beans, please, Josie? There you are, Mitzi. Thanks, Josie. Sammy's really lucky to have a good helper like you. Uh, thanks. See you later. Oh, this is wrong. I can't hide them anymore. I'll have to tell Sammy what I do. Hi, Josie. Hi, Josie. We're here to see Sammy. <gasps> hey, what happened? I've broken Sammy's favourite mug. I tried to hide it, but I felt bad. Josie, it's always better to tell the truth. And anyway, it was an accident. Accidents happen. Sammy will understand. Do you think so? I just wish there was something I could do to make it up to him. How about giving Sammy a new mug? But where would I get one? This is the only store in town. Frank could make you one. Me? Uh, well, I... Uh, uh... Thanks, Buster. But I think I should make Sammy a new mug. I'm the one who broke it. Ooh, OK, Josie. But if you need a hand, you know where to find us. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Buster. It was only after Frank and Buster had gone that Josie realised she'd forgotten to ask them something very important. <laughs> Frank! Buster! How do I make a... mug? I don't know. But it was too late. George knows a lot of things. <laughs> Hello, George. I was wondering if you knew how to make a mug. I want to make one for Sammy. A mug, hey? Well, all I can tell you is they're made of, uh, clay. Yes, that's it, clay. And I happen to know that clay is found in wet areas. Archie lives near the water hole. That's wet. He might know. I'll ask Archie. Thanks, George. No problem, Josie. Are you sure I can't give you a nice cup of tea, Sammy? Oh, thanks, Archie, but I've still got all my deliveries to do. I'll get one back at the store. Ah, right you are, then. Hello there, Josie. You're just in time for a cup of tea. Thanks, Archie, but not right now. George said you might be able to help me. Oh? Living by the waterhole, Archie knew where the very best clay was to be found. There you are, Josie. Ha! Ah, ha! A nice big hunk of clay. Oh, thanks, Archie. Now I've just got to make it into a mug for Sammy. But how do I do that? Uh, hmm. Do you know something, Josie? Clay looks a bit like pastry, doesn't it? Like something you cook with. That's an idea. It is? Yes. Alice is a good cook. She might know. I'll ask Alice. Thanks, Archie. Oh, well, yeah. So Josie asked Alice if she could help her make a mug for Sammy. And now, roll it flat. Yes, that's it, Josie. Then bend it into a mug shape. But Alice wasn't able to help Josie make a mug either. <sighs> what a shame we're not making pancakes. There must be somebody who knows how to make a mug, Josie. Buster said Frank could make a mug for me. Maybe I'll ask them. So Josie headed out to the homestead to see if Frank and Buster could help her. There you go. One potter's wheel. Wow! Frank had a go at pottery making a while ago. He's got all the kit under the house. Pottery oven, paints, everything. Mm, but I wasn't very good at it. That's why it's under the house. I reckon you should have another go, Frank, and help Josie make a mug for Sammy. Oh, please, Frank. Mm. OK, then. Oh, Frank's not having another go, is he? First, you take the clay, Josie, and throw it onto the wheel. I'm standing over here where it's safe. I heard yelling. What's up? 
Frank's teaching Josie how to make a mug. Frank is? <laughs> oh, no, I remember what happened last time. <laughs> right, Josie, now you work it up and down to shape it. Like... Oh. Oh. <sighs> Meanwhile, out on the road, Sammy had stopped to clean his windscreen. G'day there, Sammy. How about an ice cream? My special for today is triple chocolate choc chip with double chocolate sprinkles. Oh, no thanks, Lolly. I've just about finished my rounds and Josie's going to have a nice cup of tea waiting for me when I get back to the store. Now, you work it into the shape you want. Oh, oh. not again. Josie, I'm sorry, I... Frank? I think I know what I'm supposed to do. You do? Yes. Can I have a go? That's what you were trying to show me, isn't it, Frank? Uh, yeah. Hey, that's terrific, Josie. And then you wanted me to work it like this into a mug shape, didn't you, Frank? Yeah. And this is how you wanted me to make a handle, isn't it, Frank? Definitely. A work of art, Josie. It turned out that Josie had a real talent for pottery. But I couldn't have done it if you hadn't shown me how, Frank. Me? Really? Well, <laughs> I, I'm here to help. <laughs> All we've got to do now is to put the mug in a pottery oven, bake it hard and then decorate it. I'm going to do an extra special decoration just for Sammy. He's back! Oh, good day, everyone. Good day, Hello, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Sammy, I've got to tell you something. I, I, I broke your favourite mug. It was an accident. I'm really sorry. My favourite mug? Oh. Uh, still, it's good of you to own up and tell me, Josie. I really wanted to make it up to you, Sammy. So I made this for you. Oh, you made this? With Frank's help. Why, it, it, it's tremendous. The best mug I've ever had. It, oh, it's better than my favourite one. Maybe it's your new favourite one, Sammy. <laughs> oh, you bet it is. Oh, thanks, Josie. My new favourite mug. So just as Frank and Buster said, accidents do happen. But as Josie discovered, it's always better to own up, as there are always friends like the Koala Brothers who can help you put things right. <laughs> On this particular day, Mitzi the Possum was very excited. So excited, in fact, that she ran all the way from the homestead into town without stopping. Cooey! Oh. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Josie. Good day, Mitzi. Hi, Mitzi. Are they here yet, Sammy? Are they? Just let me see. Uh, yep, here they are. Oh, me photos. Thanks, Sammy. You know, Mitzi, you take such good photos. You ever thought of having a show? What? You mean putting the photos up on a wall for everyone to see? Yeah, Josie and I thought we could make a little display over there by the window. Uh, invite a few people, uh, have some sandwiches. That's right. What do you say? Oh, that'd be terrific, Sammy. And I could take some new photos, some really special ones just for the show. So, even more excited than usual, Mitzi went home to get her camera. You're in a hurry, Mitzi. Yeah, can't stop. Sammy said I could put some of my photos up in the store so everyone can come and see them. And you're all invited. That's great news, Mitzi. Which ones are you going to show? I'm going to take some new special ones. <laughs> Mr Bit Ned. Can I come to the show too, Mitzi? Of course you can, Ned. Great. A little later, Mitzi set out to take her new photos. The problem was... What could she photograph that was really special? Hey, Mitzi. Not now, Ned. How's this? How's what, Ned? You said you wanted some special photos for your show. Yeah. So what's so special about that? I'm wearing my best hat. And I clean my shoes. Ned, everyone's going to come and see my photos. I can't just have one of you in a hat. 
But it's my best hat. Uh. Mitzi. Yes, Frank. Maybe we can help. Hmm? How's this then? A photo of us about to go on patrol. You do that every day, Frank. How's that special? Well, it's special to us. Thanks, but I don't think so. See you later. Now, news travels fast in the outback, and before long, everyone had heard about Mitzi's special show and wanted to be involved. You're looking smart today, George. Oh, uh, uh, thanks, Alice. Uh, I uh, heard about Mitzi taking some photos for a show and, and, uh, and oh, here she comes. <laughs> Hi, Mitzi. Hi. I hear you're having a show, Mitzi. Yeah, I'm looking to take some real special pictures, George, but I haven't found any yet. Ah, uh, well, I might have just the thing for you, Mitzi. Yeah? Yeah. I just happen to have my post office certificate here. Oh, George, you are clever. I thought uh, maybe me standing next to the box holding the certificate might make a nice uh, photo. Gee, it's nice, George, but I don't think it's really special enough. Sorry. Uh, oh. oh. I think it's special, George. Oh, here she comes. How do I look, Josie? Good, Sammy. Ah, you're one handsome fella, Sammy, my boy. Oh, there she is. Oh, <coughs> uh, uh, Mitzi, uh, have you got a sec? Yeah, I guess, but I'm on an important job. I'm trying to take some photos from a show, but it's hard. Well, uh, uh, maybe I can help. You're going to love this. <coughs> what do you reckon? What's that? It's a giant, funny-shaped carrot. We thought it'd make a great photo, didn't we, Josie? Uh, us and the carrot. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, it's nice, Sammy, but I'm looking for something a bit more special. Oh. Is it the carrot, Mitzi? Oh. I've got a marrow. No. Uh, thanks, Sammy, but I don't think so. I've been saving this for ages. Hi there, Mitzi. Hi, Frank. Hi, Buster. How are the photos going? Not too good. I don't know what to take. What can you take in the outback that's special? Well, uh, the view's special when you're up in the plane. How about I take you up? Oh, would you, Frank? That'd be great. I've got to be able to take some special photos from up there. Beauty! I'll get the supplies, Frank. <laughs> See you back home. OK. What about one of me and a pineapple, Mitzi? No, thanks, Sammy. Come on, Frank. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready, Mitzi. So Frank took Mitzi up in the plane to take her special photos. What about that, Mitzi? It's great. Nah, it's just a tree. Oh, uh, how about that? Nah, it's just some rocks, Frank. But Mitzi just couldn't seem to find anything special she wanted to photograph. Coming in for a cup of tea, Mitzi? <sighs> nah, I don't think so. Thanks, Frank. So how'd it go, Frank? Not too good, I'm afraid. No photos. Oh. Are you okay, Mitzi? I guess. Frank, how am I ever going to have a show if I can't take any special photos? What's the most special photo you own? Oh, that's easy. This one. Why is that special then? Because it's got me friends in it, I suppose. There you go. What's special for you is photos of your friends. Maybe that's what you've been missing. Maybe you should take some more pictures of your friends for the show. Oh, you're right. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Buster. We are here to help. Ned! Ned! 
Yes, Mitzi? How about that photo, Ned, of you and the caravan? And I'll put your photo in my show. I don't think I want my photo taken now, thank you, Mitzi. You said it wasn't special enough. Oh, come on, Ned. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Ned! And you upset the others, too. Oh, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, Ned. Please, can I take your photo? Well, all right then. Aren't you going to get your hat, Ned? Your special one? Oh, thanks, Mitzi. <laughs> and suddenly, Mitzi realised what it was that made a photo special for her. And before long, she had enough photos to have her show at Sammy's store after all. Oh, here they come. Hello, everyone. Time to come in. That's a jolly fine certificate, George. Gee, thanks, Archie. I'm kind of proud of it as it happens. Oh, look at you, Ned. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I'd like to welcome you all to this display of Mitzi's photos. Yay! And I'd just like to say thanks to everyone for helping me make them special. Well done, Mitzi. Yeah, well done, absolutely. Well, very good so thanks to the Koala Brothers, Mitzi realised that what's special is different for everyone. And for her, the most special things of all were photographs of all her friends. Today was a big day for Josie, the little kangaroo. Sammy was off on a well-deserved holiday and Josie was going to look after the shop all on her own while he was away. I think that's everything, Sammy. Take care and have a good time. Thanks, Josie. You won't forget to do the deliveries, will you? And remember to keep the shelves stacked. Oh, don't worry, Sammy. I've made a list. Ah, oh, she'll do you proud, Sammy. You'll see. Bye now. Bye. Have a good time. Bye. Running the shop all on her own was going to be a big challenge for Josie, but she was determined not to let Sammy down. At the homestead, Frank and Buster were getting ready to fly into town to pick up their groceries. Hey, Frank! Buster! Can you pick something up for me? Of course we can, Mitzi. What's it to be? Couple of cans of Billy Beans, please, Frank. And say hi to Josie for me, will ya? It's her first day in charge. You're right, it is. OK, then, Josie's store, here we come. Stand by. Standing, Standing by. Chocks away, Buster. Chocks away, Frank. Get the gate, Ned. I'm getting the gate, Frank. Buckle up, Buster. Buckle down. Door, Josie had everything under control. Done. Stack the shelves. Done. So what's next? Let's see. Oh, hello, Alice. How's it going, Josie? Pretty good, thanks. <laughs> so far, haven't had time to get much wrong yet. I'm sure you'll be okay. Now, uh, where is it? Here, I've bought my grocery order. Any chance you could pop it over for me? Yes, of course. I'll do it straight away. Oh, thanks, Josie. See ya. Mm. Hi there, Josie. Oh. Message from Archie to our new shopkeeper. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's his grocery order. Looks like a big one to me. Oh. Wants it delivered to the waterhole as soon as may be. Oh, but I'm in the middle of Alice's order just now, George. Oh, dear. There's too much for me to do. As the day went on, 
Josie got busier and busier. Oh, thank you so much, Josie. Oh, thank you. I'll help you unpack it. Hey, Josie! How's things? I'd better go. Sorry. That's bread, milk, cookies and, uh, butter, right? Not butter. Beans. Two cans of Billy Beans. They're for Mitzi. She says hi, by the way. Oh, <laughs> silly me. Sorry, Buster. Oh, dear. That's someone wanting petrol. Uh, uh... You serve them, Josie. We'll find the beans. Thanks. <laughs> oh, sorry, Lolly. Fill her up, please, Josie. To the top. Right to the top. I think Josie's finding it all a bit much, Buster. So do I, Frank. I wonder how he can help. Thanks, Josie. Toodaloo. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, she's a water. I've got to take it to the water hole. Oh, there's so much to do. How does Sammy manage? Hey, hold on there, Josie. You're forgetting something. When Sammy's here, he has his helper. You! Frank's right, Josie. If you're doing Sammy's job, you should have a helper too. I've got it! How about Mitzi? I bet she'd love to help you. Mitzi? She'd be wonderful. Do you think she'd mind? Leave it to us. A little later, Frank and Buster asked Mitzi if she'd like to help Josie out at the shop. <gasps> Running the store? Wow, that sounds like my kind of thing. You'd be great at it, Mitzi. Not running the store, Mitzi. Helping to run the store. But Mitzi had other ideas. Oh, this is so good. A whole store to organise. Josie, bring those here. I'll put them on the counter, Josie. We'll stack them up like this. And then the customers can help themselves. It's called self-service. Oh, Mitzi... I'm not sure. Sammy keeps everything on the shelves, you see, and whoever's serving takes down what's needed. Mm, well, in that case, the counter's not in the right place, Josie. I reckon we should move it. No! Oh, now look what I've done! Back at the homestead, Frank and Buster were getting ready to go out on their daily patrol. I wonder how Josie and Mitzi are getting on. They'll be doing fine. Won't they, Frank? Yeah, of course they will. Hmm. At the store, Josie was ready to deliver Archie's groceries. <sighs> OK, you're done. Phew, I could do with the juice after that lot. Maybe I'll pop round to Alice's cafe. No, Mitzi. Oh, please don't leave the store. Oh, sorry, Josie. I was forgetting. Don't worry, I'll stay. Oh, thanks, Mitzi. Bye. Taking Archie's groceries to oh. the waterhole was even harder than Josie had bargained for. There was just too much for one little kangaroo to manage. Fortunately, help was at hand. What's the problem, Josie? I'm doing the deliveries just like Sammy does, but they're so heavy. Oh, I just don't seem to be able to do things Sammy's way. But you're forgetting something. Sammy doesn't wander around the outback loaded up with bags and rucksacks. He has his truck for that. Yeah, that's what you need, Josie. Some kind of vehicle to help you. So why not let the two of us do the deliveries by plane? Then you can run the store with Mitzi. Good idea, Frank. But I'm supposed to be doing Sammy's job. Listen, Josie, what really matters is to get the job done well. And sometimes that means doing things your way. Do you really think so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Thanks. We are here to help. Why don't we load this lot up right now and get it over to Archie? With Frank and Buster doing the deliveries, we can run the store really well between us. Yeah. Can I get that juice now? <laughs> Not yet. With two of us here, I want to get some extra jobs done. Like the storeroom. Sammy's been meaning to clear that out for ages. <laughs> OK, boss. You win. Soon, Josie had everything running smoothly. Peppers, milk. Oh, 
Thank you. Eventually, Sammy came back from his holidays. Everyone was looking forward to seeing him again. <laughs> Sammy was very happy to find the store running so well. In fact, things were even better than when he left. I can't believe it. My storeroom's been cleared out. And, oh, just look at those flowers. So despite her worries, Josie had done a great job of running the store. And thanks to the Koala Brothers, Josie learned that to do a job really well, you sometimes need to find your own way of doing things. I said she'd do you proud. And she did. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Josie. Yeah, well done, Josie. Well done, Josie. <laughs> One day, Ned the Little Wombat was out for a walk and minding his own business when he made a surprising discovery. Being a curious little wombat, he decided to investigate. And there it was. It's not often that you see a boat in the outback. And Ned was very excited. This was the best thing ever. And Ned couldn't wait to show the Koala Brothers. Back at the Koala Brothers' house, Frank and Buster were cleaning the plane. When... Hello! Hello, Frank. Hello, Buster. Look what I found. Hello, Hello Ned. Ned. It's very nice, don't you think? Oh, uh, yes, Ned. Yes, it is. I've decided to become a sea captain. You have? Yes. This is going to be my ship. Mm, needs a bit of work, of course, but there's something I have to do first. Wait here. Don't go away! There was something Ned had to find. Something that would make him feel like a real sea captain. <laughs> it was here somewhere. Look, look, I've got the hat. Just like a real sea captain. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here. Oh, I see. Sorry. There you go. Thanks. So, how do I look now? Great. Yeah, just like a real sea captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm a bit worried about your ship, though. What do you mean? I think it might be too broken to fix. Oh. Well, I mean, uh, you might be able to fix it if you could get somebody to help you. Could you two help me fix it? Of course we could. We're the Koala Brothers. We are here yeah, to help. I'd have to be in charge, though, cos I have the hat. And you're supposed to salute when you see me. Aye, aye, Captain. Come on. So the Koala Brothers set to work repairing Ned's boat. And saluting Captain Ned.
He made a ship. A real ship with a sail and everything. Oh, it's really big. Yes, Mitzi, and it's my ship, and I'm the captain. See? Oh, great hat, Ned. So, where are you going to sail it? You'll need lots of water. Water? Oh, oh. You must have thought of water, Ned. How can you sail a boat without water? Oh, water. <sighs> Frank, the water hole. Great idea, Frank. Ned, what about the water hole? Yeah. That's it. We'll drag the ship down to the water hole. Uh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> 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 Too heavy. We'll never get it down to the water hole. Yes, we will, Ned. We'll think of something. Like what? Maybe you should just put it on wheels. <gasps> and that's just what they did. Can you go any faster? <sighs> it's so quiet here. Just us and the sound of crickets. Hmm. And the odd sailing ship. Sailing ship? <sighs> Hi there, Alice. Hi, Archie. <laughs> We've built a ship for Ned. It's Captain Ned. Oh, sorry. Captain Ned, and we were wondering if we could sail it in the water hole. I don't see why not. Uh, go ahead. Thanks, Alice. Thanks, Archie. <laughs> Get ready to launch the ship. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Wish me luck. Good, Good luck. luck. Good luck. Cast off. It's the water. It's not deep enough. Oh, this is no good. I can't be a real sea captain in a water hole. What's up with him? I think he's upset. He really did want to be a sea captain. Maybe we should go after him. You can't just leave the boat here. What if somebody wants to go swimming or something? It's in the way. So while everybody helped to pull Ned's ship out of the water hole, Buster went to talk to Ned. It's not fair. I know. I just wanted to be a sea captain. Well, maybe you can still be a sea captain if you really want to. How? Well, Frank will think of something. And Buster was right. While the others were resting, Frank had been thinking of an idea. Yes! Frank, we're going to have to help Ned. He's really sad. Shh, I'm thinking. Oh, sorry. I think with just a bit more breeze... Yes! Yes! It'll work! Frank, you've done it! It's sailing! <gasps> it's, it's sailing! Go and get Ned, Buster. OK, wait! Wait there! And this time, the launch of Captain Ned's ship was a big success. <laughs> Look at Ned! You mean Captain Ned? With the Koala Brothers' help, Ned really did get to sail his ship, even without the sea. And Captain Ned was the proudest sea captain to ever sail the outback. <laughs> On the day our story began, the little outback town was sleepy and quiet as usual. Mitzi was on her way to Sammy's shop to buy the groceries. Bread, butter, cheese, tea, chocolate for Buster, milk. 
bread, butter, cheese, tea, chocolate for Buster milk. Hi, George. Oh. <gasps> oh. Wow. Oh, Mitzi. Want a toffee? Not now, Ned. Thanks. Huh? Good day, Mitzi. How are you? Fine. That carousel in the window? Oh, yeah. That's just come in. I'll take it. Look, I've got my pocket money. Oh. Uh, I'm afraid that's not enough, Mitzi. It's 15 for the carousel. 15? I don't have that much, Sammy. Oh, can't I have it anyway? I really want it. Maybe if you saved up enough pocket money, you could afford to buy it. But I want it now. Oh, it's not fair. I'm sorry, Mitzi. Meanwhile, back at the homestead, Frank and Buster were busy cleaning the plane. Mitzi had come home to find out how much money she really had. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Frank. Hi, Buster. One, two, three, four... Did you get the tea and bread? No. Five... Did you get the chocolate for my cake? No. I haven't got enough. What am I going to do? Haven't got enough for what, Mitzi? I saw the best thing in Sammy's shop today, the most amazing toy you've ever seen. And I'm going to buy it. But Sammy said I didn't have enough money. I need 15. You know, Mitzi, if you want something badly enough, you could save your money until you had enough to buy it. Or you could earn some extra pocket money by doing some little jobs for people. Like what? I can't mend cars and build houses. Uh, not those kind of jobs, Mitzi. Uh, little jobs like, uh, like, uh... Like cleaning Ned's windows. Hmm, that's a good idea. They could do with a good clean, but who else could I help? Leave it to us. The next morning, Frank and Buster were getting ready to go out on their daily patrol. Mitzi was up bright and early too, ready to do some jobs. Frank! Buster! Stop! Have you got any jobs for me to do? Well, the kitchen floor could do with a sweep, but... I've only just swept it. An extra sweep won't hurt, Buster. And if you do a good job, Mitzi, we'll give you a silver coin when we get back from town. Great. Thanks. OK. Stand by for takeoff. Standing, Standing by. Chocks away, Buster. Chocks away, Frank. Get the gate, Ned. I'm getting the gate, Frank. Buckle up, Buster! Buckle up! Bread, butter, cheese, tea. I can't find the chocolate for my cake, Sammy. <sighs> I'm sorry, Buster. It's Joe's day off and things have got into a bit of a mess. You can say that again. Maybe you need some help. What about Mitzi? Ha, oh, great idea. Send her over right away. That's quite a load, George. Ooh. Yes, indeedy, Frank. I could do with a little help today. We know just the person. George wasn't the only one who needed some help. <sighs> Hi, Alice. Are you OK? <sighs> I've just fixed my scooter and now it needs a good clean, but I'm so tired. Maybe you need someone to help clean it for you. That'd be nice, but who? 
Mitzi will do it for you. Mitzi, they're clean now. Not quite, Ned. Frank said I had to do a good job. But you'll wear them out. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Ned. We've got some good news. Sammy, George and Alice have all got jobs for you to do. And you might get a silver coin in return if you do a good job. Wow. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Buster. There you go, Ned. See you later. Hey, don't you want this? Mitzi was in such a hurry that she forgot to take the silver coin from Ned for cleaning his windows. First, Mitzi went to Sammy's shop where she worked very hard indeed. That's a job well done, Mitzi. Here you go. Thanks, Sammy. You've earned it. Then Mitzi helped George deliver his parcels. Good job, Mitzi. There you go. Thanks. And finally, Mitzi helped Alice by cleaning her scooter. Alice thought Mitzi had done a very good job. Thanks, Alice. Back at the homestead, Buster and Ned were waiting for Buster's chocolate cake to finish baking. Is it ready yet? Nearly. Hi, Hi Missy! Hi. How did it go? Well, I helped Ned, then I helped Sammy, then I helped George and Alice, and now I'm B. Is it ready now? Ah, it's done. So, Six. did you get enough of the carousel? Seven. Eight, nine. I can't believe it. After all that hard work, I still haven't got enough money. <sighs> How am I ever going to get enough money to buy my beautiful carousel? A piece of chocolate cake will make you feel better. Hey, Buster. Maybe Mitzi could sell slices of cake in town. Great idea, Frank. But I haven't got a cake to sell. Oh, yes, you have. You can have this one. That is, if Ned doesn't mind. Oh. It'd make Mitzi happy if you could. Oh. OK, then. Gee, thanks, Ned. You're a real mate. And for that, you're going to get the first piece. Oh. Mitzi set up a stall in town. Can I have a napkin with that, Mitzi? You sure can. It'll be extra. Everybody wanted to buy a slice of the delicious chocolate cake. Before long, Mitzi's money box was full up to the top. The moment had come. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm still short of one coin. Will this one help, Mitzi? It's for cleaning my windows. Oh, wow! Thanks, Ned. Thanks a lot. You're a real mate. <laughs> She's been in there a very long time. Oh, I hope she's got enough money. I'm sure she has. Shh! Here she comes. <laughs> Look! I got it! Anyone want to go? Yay! Yay! Mitzi had worked very hard to get the carousel. <laughs> but the best bit was when she got to share it with all her friends. One day, while trying to rescue Alice's kite, Archie got stuck in a tree. Now, Archie needed rescuing too. Sorry, chaps. I was only trying to help. Just one more uh, step. Uh, <sighs> there you go. <laughs> and here's your kite. Oh, thank you, Frank. You and Buster are so helpful. Thank you. <laughs> it was nothing, really. Oh, I wish I was like you. We're just here to help, Archie. Yeah, it's not as if we're heroes or anything. Heroes help people? Ah, why, that's it? Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> I can't thank you enough, chaps! <laughs> Archie thought that maybe the best way to help people was to be a hero. Oh, yes, that's Later that morning, after her morning swim, Mitzi passed by Archie's house. Ha-ha! <laughs> 
It's me, Mitzi. Ah, didn't you know? No longer will I be plain old Archie, but Outback Archie, hero to all, scared of nothing. You were scared when you got stuck up the tree. Ah, that's uh, Outback Archie, hero to all, scared of nothing, apart from climbing trees. Uh, anyway, got to dash, people to help, brave deeds to do. Ha! Ah. Hey, Archie, you've forgotten your mask. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, thanks, Mitzi. Bye! In the outback, it wasn't long before someone needed help. Ha-ha! <laughs> Alice! Archie, it's you! Ha-ha! I'm outback, Archie, and I've come to help you. Ooh, look at your tyre. So that's why I was wobbling. Leave this to me. <sighs> This tyre needs air. Oh, have you got a pump out back, Archie? Yeah, no. Fear not, Alice. Out back, Archie will find one. <laughs> uh, Archie. Mm. You look funny. Oh, I'm out back, Archie, and I'm on an important mission to help Alice. Has she got her kite stuck in the tree again? No, no, no. It's far worse, Mitzi. Her scooter has a flat tire. I was uh, wondering if I could uh, b borrow a pump, you know, to pump it up. Frank and Buster have a pump. Ha! Ha ha! Wonderful! Yeah, it's in their plane. Right. Um. Oh. Where's the plane? Uh, up there! Oh. I've got a balloon pump you can borrow. Mmm! Oh, that should do the trick, Mr. Ned! Meanwhile, Frank and Buster are out on their daily patrol, looking for anyone in need of help. We'll soon have you back on the road, Alice. Thanks. Ha <laughs> ha! It's me. <laughs> What's the mask for, Archie? He's out back, Archie. Hero to all, scared of everything. Uh, <laughs> scared of nothing, Alice. Scared of nothing. Oh, now I have come to Alice's rescue. Ha <laughs> ha! I will now give the tire air. That should do the trick, Alice. Oh, hello, Archie. Oh. Hello, Frank, old boy. I see you've already helped Alice. Well, I was hoping to help her myself, you know, but uh, never mind. Good job. <laughs> um, never mind, Archie. It's the thought that counts. Yes. Thanks, Outback Archie. Fine. Right. <laughs> Must be off. <laughs> More helping to do. <laughs> hey, Archie, you've dropped something. <laughs> Just testing. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Archie. Archie. Later that day, George was having a bit of trouble himself. Ooh. Ha ha! Ooh. Ha ha! It's only me. Oh, you gave me quite a scare, Archie. That's Outback, Archie. And I'm at your service. How can I help? I can't open the post box. The door's stuck. Ah. Stand back, George. I shall rescue your letters. <laughs> I must say, George, it's the worst case of sticky door I've ever come across. Oh. There seem to be a lot of letters in there. Yeah, it's Chocker. Oh, I say, my cape! I'm stuck! Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Poor Archie. This wasn't his idea of being a hero. Now he needed rescuing again. Archie, we've just heard. Oh, hello there. Mm, um, I feel a bit silly, really. Uh, we couldn't undo the knot. Don't worry. We'll soon get you unstuck. We're here to help. <clears throat> there you go, Archie. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Frank, Master. All part of the service, George. Ah. Uh. You chaps really are heroes, and I'll always be plain old Archie. Oh, dear. I'm just no good at helping people. Oh, oh dear, oh, dear. Poor Archie. I've got an idea. 
Why don't we take a picnic to the water hole? That'll cheer him up. Good idea, Frank. The water hole was the perfect spot for a picnic, but Archie was still sad. Sandwich, Archie. Ah, I won't. Thanks all the same. Cheer up, Archie. Everyone's good at something. Just think of the things you're good at. Sport. You're the best there is at sport. Uh, I, I, I suppose I am, rather. And jogging. You're good at jogging. Being good at jogging doesn't make you a hero, though. Shh, Mitzi. Ice cream! Are you sure you don't want a sandwich, Archie? Oh. It's a hot one, so I'm here to cool you down. Hi, Lolly. I'll have a double chop chip with triple chop sauce, please. You're a girl who knows what she wants, Mitzi. Uh, Lolly, you're moving. Help! Oh. Lolly, what about my ice cream? Are you all right? Oh, no! Frank will think of something to get you out. I'm stuck. Uh, don't move. Uh, I'm thinking. Uh, we need something to throw to her to pull her out. Archie's good at throwing. Uh, oh, uh, yes. Uh, I, I am, actually. Quick! Somebody save uh, me! Uh, I say. <laughs> Stand back, everyone. Stand back. Here, Lolly. Okay. Archie. Loop it over the steering wheel, Lolly. OK, Archie. Tie this end to the plane. You can pull her out. Good idea. Easy, Frank. Steady as she goes. I, uh, oh, sure. I'm just happy to be of help, you know. <laughs> I'll save this for you. Out back, Archie. Actually, you know, I prefer being just plain old Archie. Three cheers for Archie! Hip, hip! Hooray! Everyone thought Archie hip, really hip, was a hero. Hip, hip, but the funny thing was, Archie just felt glad he was able to help. Thank you. Thank you. Shout. Hey, hey, hey.